my friends, welcome back. It is time for August favorites and I'm going to tell you about a couple of things that I have just been loving this month from all different genres. I've got food, I've got beauty, I've got media. It's all sorts of stuff and I want to keep this short and sweet so let's jump right in starting with my beauty favorites of the month. First up is something that I purchased uh, several months ago when I was going through that whole getting rid of certain ingredients in my face makeup phase and I finally decided that I love this. The jury was out for a while but now I'm like no, I'm in on this. This is great stuff. This is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder. Sheer to full coverage finishing veil with SPF 50 in it. And this has been my go-to powder foundation and you guys have been complimenting me on my skin a lot lately and I'm not going to lie to you, it's this. It's this. This is usually what I have on my face and even today all I have on my face I have some concealer in the more acne prone spots and a little bit under my eyes but the rest of my face is this stuff and just this stuff and it's lovely. I am in the shade light and I'm a, I just hit pan which made me go oh no because I'm gonna have to buy another one and it is just glorious. It is it is wonderful. It makes my skin feel good. It applies really nicely and it lasts a really long time. Which it, like both in terms of the product. I've had this for months, like I said, and I just hit pan on it. But I mean in terms of the day as well. Like I put it on and when I go to remove my makeup in the evening, you know how sometimes you go to remove your makeup and there's actually not a whole lot there, meaning it all like melted off or sunk into your skin or rubbed off or something. There is still a significant amount of makeup for me to remove by the end of the day when I wear this stuff, which means it lasts a long time on my skin, which is so important because I'm trying to use it to cover up stuff like this. So what's great about it is I can use it on a full face of makeup day, like today, filming day, or when I'm just like running out and doing errands and want to not have completely bare face, it takes me 30 seconds and a brush, buff it on my skin and I go, oh look, I'm feeling a little better about life and I'm out the door. And it's great and it's built in sun protection which is incredible. I love this stuff. My other beauty product was a total impulse purchase when Ulta was doing their 10 times points for platinum members event not too long ago and I wanted to try some new sheet masks so I bought this one and I think it was three dollars <laughs> and I love it and it's crazy. It's an Insta Glow dry sheet mask by Ulta. It's Ulta's brand. I didn't know what it meant by dry sheet mask and I didn't really look too much into it. I'm like it's three bucks if I hate it I hate it it's fine. Well, it turns out it comes in this resealable packet because you can use this three times, up to three times. And what it is, is a cloth that you unfold and it, like I said, it's dry. There's the serum and stuff is built right into the fabric. So I don't know if you can see that. I'll do a close up for you. But the scale printed side is where the oils are and then you put it on your face and then my favorite part about it is it has these little loops that you loop over your ears. So you put it on and you loop that over your ear and then you take the chin part and you loop that over your ear too so it not only sticks like is on your face, it's not going anywhere. And then you just rub it for about 15 seconds to activate the serum that's infused into the cloth and you leave it there for 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever and you can use it up to three times. So you fold it back up and you put it back in the packet and it was three dollars which means it's one dollar per use. How cool is that? So that is at Ulta. It's Ulta's brand and as I was searching to see if there are any other dry masks that they own, which they don't, there aren't any more that I saw, I did notice that they have a lot of skincare out now. So if you know anything or have tried anything from Ulta Beauty's skincare brand and you love it or hate it, let me know because now I'm curious because the price is definitely right. That was it for beauty favorites. Let's move on to food favorites. And I feel like this food favorite is premature, but it's been out almost all month long and I love it. So I'm telling you about it now so you can enjoy it all season. This is the Light and Fit 0% Fat Greek Yogurt in Pumpkin Pie. It's amazing. Hands down amazing. It is a delicious flavored yogurt. I will continue to buy and buy and buy and buy until it doesn't exist anymore and it's taken away from me for the season. It's a great treat if you want breakfast, 
It's a great treat if you want a snack. It's wonderful, and it is two points plus, and I believe it's also two smart points. It's, oh my gosh, there's, I just, I don't need a long explanation. This pumpkin pie flavor is delicious. Let's see, well you got seven sugars, 12 grams of protein, which is awesome. No fiber, so what I've been doing is I've been taking the acacia fiber, which I think I favorited last month, the clear acacia fiber, which adds one point, one smart point, but zero extra points plus, and it adds five grams of fiber to something. It mixes very well in yogurt, so I'll add a tablespoon of the acacia fiber in here, which will up the fiber content to five, and help me have a more balanced morning or treat or whatever. But the stuff, if you see it in the grocery store, pick it up. If you like flavored Greek yogurt, it's so good. Next up is something that I just purchased, but I love it already. And this is an individual little cup of holy guacamole, the classic guacamole flavor. Now I am not a spicy girl by any means, but I do like things to have flavor. And because I've been going through an avocado kick and trying to get to know avocado and appreciate avocado, I have been purchasing such products as like pre-done stuff because I don't think I can open avocados and whatnot. So I saw these little guys at Walmart one day and I picked up the mild one, not realizing that the one I picked up was just plain avocado. Just, it, it, there was no other ingredients. It was just avocado. So I had to spice it up and by spice it, I mean season it. Like I put everything but the bagel seasoning in it. I put minced onion, uh, dried minced onion in it, some garlic in it to flavor it up because while I'm learning to love avocado, I don't love the flavor of plain avocado. It has to be with something. So when I was at Sam's Club the other day, I saw these and I checked the ingredients and sure enough, there were other ingredients in here like garlic powder and onion powder and a, what things that make guacamole guacamole. And these taste amazing. Now, I want to know your guys' opinion on this. Like, that's all I have to say about them. They're amazing, and they're convenient in portion packs, and they're great. They're technically three points plus. I don't know how many smart points they are because I didn't look. Sorry, fact of life, because I'm doing points plus and not smart points. But I'm curious. I have been debating for a while now. There, I know there are people that don't track their avocado. I'm trying to decide if I want to be one of those people. And here's why. It's not like I overindulge in avocado, which is the theory behind freestyle, right? But if I use this one thing, if I do one serving, something like this, which is 120 calories, once a day, no more than once a day, I have to start tracking it if I do multiple. But if I have this once a day, and it's 120 calories, and full of good for you fat, and it's full of some fiber and whatnot, that's literally the same amount of calories as a banana, which is all carbohydrate, and I think there's fiber in there too, don't get me wrong, um, and fruit sugars and all that, and we count that as zero. Why can't I count this as zero? Because it's the same amount of calories, it's a pro piece of produce, and it's still full of good for me stuff. The only downfall is it has fat in it, but it has low carbs. So I'm trying to decide. I think I might jump on that bandwagon. Let me know your opinions in the comment below because I know some of you don't track avocado and I know some friends from Instagram who don't track avocado and I think I might become one of them too just because it makes sense to me. I don't know. But these are great. They're very flavorful, very, very good and really convenient because of the little to-go package. All right, and I have the last category I have is kind of like media type stuff. And I'm going to start with my new Bible. I bought the She Reads Truth, which is a website Bible. Um, I found it at Sam's Club actually for like $20. I know it's available on Amazon and I'll have it linked down below for you, but it's beautiful. It is a gorgeous Bible. I love the colors. I love that there are fun little, at the beginning of every chapter of the Bible, there's like a beautiful art print of like the key verse to take away from that, that chapter. It's got devotionals in here, which are great. It has maps and information and it has, you know, like the index by, um, by topic, like versus on guilt, versus on sex, versus on marriage, versus on joy, versus on whatever. It's all in here and it's all categorized so you can find it. It's got two bookmarks in it. I'm, I, I just, I love it. There's really not much to say about it. It is a Bible, but it's a very nice, functional, and pretty Bible that I have been using when I'm being good every morning. So I love it. It's great. It's wonderful. And I just, I felt the need to get myself a new one. And I really like that it's hardcover and I love it. I love it. I love it. And going along with my Bible, 
I'm favoriting this. This is an Erin Condren hard bound lined notebook and I'm using it as my journal. And I journal along with reading my Bible and stuff in the morning and my journaling practice has really helped me kind of get things out in the open, out on paper and whatnot. And this particular one, I have a whole collection of like their plain ones, but they started doing these pretty printed ones. If you can't see, it says every day is a fresh start. And I thought that this was just the perfect front page, the front cover to a journal where I can open it up every morning and go, every day is a fresh start. So even if yesterday sucked, every day is a fresh start. And I get that reminder every single morning in beautiful rose gold foil. And um, the these ones with like the fancy covers are also a little bit larger, like thicker than their regular notebooks. I don't know. I've I love the Erin Condren notebooks. They are beautiful and just pretty and sleek and they fit nice in my purse. I have one for everything. I have a goals one, like a daily goals thing, which is a habit that I learned from Rachel Hollis, author of Girl, Wash Your Face. Adore her if you haven't figured that out. Um, and I use this one as a journal and I have one that's like a to-do thing and I, I, I use these for everything. I kid you not, everything. She Reads Truth Bible, Erin Condren journal. Everything will be linked down below. And then the last thing I have for you is a book that I listened to. It was it was an audiobook, but it's also available in a book. And it just exceeded my expectations because I wasn't sure what to expect. And that book is Dancing Through Life by Candace Cameron Bure. You guys know her as DJ Tanner from Full House and Fuller House, but she well, apparently was on Dancing with the Stars. I think I knew that whatever. Um, that's not the point. The point is I grew up with Full House. I loved Full House and I know that I, I knew in the back of my mind that she was a Christian woman and apparently she has like four or five books out. So Scribed, the app that I talked about, was it last month or it, I talked about Scribed a lot and I'll, I'll throw it out there real quick. If you want two months free of Scribed, use my referral link down below. Done. Um, but Scribed has most of her books and it has a couple of her audio books and like I told you in my one books video I love when um, celebrity authors narrate their own books I love it and she Candace did narrate this book and it was her saga of dancing with the stars so I'm like you know this might be fun to hear and just I have a special appreciation for her because she's a Christian well it turns out that this book like was legitimately just as much witnessing about the Lord and talking about Bible verses and stories from the Bible and spiritual her spiritual journey and sticking to her Christian convictions throughout this entire Dancing with the Stars process. Like it, it contained more God than I thought it was. And that's not a bad thing. That's an amazing thing. And it makes me want to read all of her other books now. Like, and I'm starting them because they're all on that app. And I'm gonna read them all. And and I just I loved it. And I loved I loved hearing it in her voice. And so you and you could just oh, you could tell in the way she narrated how much she meant every word. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. So it was just fun for me, like listening to this, oh, celebrity from Full House, DJ Tanner, ha ha ha, talk about this experience. Like first you get an awesome behind the scenes of what happens on Dancing with the Stars. The rehearsal schedules, conversations with the producers, things that happen behind the scenes. It's really cool. But then I got this whole Christian, spiritual, inspiring, motivating, sticking to your convictions like almost Bible study type thing also. It was so, so cool. And so I highly, highly recommend that book if you are Christian, if you are not Christian, if you are a fan of Dancing with the Stars, I just recommend it. It was very well written, it's very well narrated, and it, mm, I really, really enjoyed it. So I hope you will too. That's Dancing Through Life, which of course struck my fancy because that's also a title of the song in the musical, Wicked, which I'm a big fan of, side note. Dancing Through Life by Candace Cameron Bure. And that is everything for my favorites this month. Let me know in the comments below what some of your favorites were for the month of August. I cannot believe that it's September. We're going to be officially breaking into fall soon. Hallelujah. I love me some fall. You guys know it's my favorite season. So I'm really, really looking forward to what I might be able to discover and bring you as favorites in the month to come. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.